Ayan, mega love shout out sa ating lahat dyan. Ayan. Welcome to our fellowship with the Lord. At uh, isang mapagpalang pagbati po sa bawat isa. At uh, I believe and I pray for everyone. I believe that God is with you. Amen. Amen. And today, our passage are going to directly to our purpose today, our Bible study, to seek the message of God today. If you have your Bible with you, you can open it at the book of John, verse, uh, chapter 5 of John. And we will read together. Okay. John chapter 5. Let us read. After this, Jesus went to Jerusalem for religious festival. Near the ship gate in Jerusalem there is a pool with five porches in Hebrew it is called Bet Betsata a large crowd of sick people were laying in the po in the porches the blind the lame and the paralyzed a man was there who had been ill for 38 years. Jesus saw him laying there. And he knew that the man had been ill for such a long time. So he asked him, do you want to get well? The sick man answered, sir, I have to one I have no one here to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up while I am trying to get in somebody else gets there first and Jesus said to him get up pick up your mat and walk immediately the man got well he picked up his mat and started walking the day this happened was a Sabbath so the Jewish authority told the man who had been healed this is a Sabbath and it is against our law for you to carry your mat he answered the man who had me who made me will told me to pick up my mat and walk they asked him who is the man who told you to do to do this but the man who had been healed did not know who jesus was for there was a crowd in the place and jesus had slipped away And this is our passage today. The key verse is First John five verse eight. The story that we read is about the man who suffered a long time for his illness siya ay isang pilay at tatlong po walong taon nang hindi nakakalakad and um sa lugar na ito ng Jerusalem eh mayroong tinatawag silang araw ng festival 
kung saan nagpupunta doon ang may mga karamdaman at sa paniwala nila na gagaling sila mula sa karamdaman once na maligo sila doon sa full o sa isang uh, ginawa man-made na um, isang paliguan I don't know exactly the, the Tagalog term for that but uh, it's a fool of Bethsaida and uh, noong mga panahon na yun napakadami po na um, nandoon na may karamdaman at sabi nga po noong uh, karakter the lame man ay wala, wala akong kasama at hindi ko kaya pumunta doon kapag tinatry ko na magpunta doon lumusong sa uh, tubig may isa namang papasok na uunahan ako so hindi ko magawa so ito po yung ating passage for today and uh, what is the significance of the Lord Jesus telling the lame man to take up your bed and walk according to John 5 8 this is the key passage amen let us pray Heavenly Father we thank you Lord for this uh, wonderful day a wonderful time a wonderful opportunity Lord God, that you've given us Lord to celebrate once again to gather once again to speak once again about your goodness hallelujah you are really great lord god in every occasion in every time in our lives lord god you showed how great you are and you deserve glory and honor you deserve the worship lord god as we do lord god as a study of your word we worship you we give our time to you lord we ask your presence we ask your wisdom we ask your enlightenment we ask your message lord god today to minister to us lord god reveal to us lord what is your word today for us what is your blessing today today for us lord thank you once again for you deserve glory and honor you deserve highest praise you deserve worship in your name O lord jesus christ amen amen Amen. Now, what is the significance of the Lord Jesus telling to the lame man to take up your bed and walk according to John 5, 8? Let us go to our passage. The fool of Bethsaida, or Bethsaida, or Bethesda, Bethesda. Bethesda is, was renowned as a supposed place of healing in Jesus' time. I'm sorry eh, for my word kanina. Uh, it's, the correct is Bethesda, Bethesda. It's a Hebrew at this fool, Jesus healed a man who had been lame for 38 years. As Jesus healed him, he said, Take up your bed and walk, according to John 5, 8. This miracle reveals that Jesus is the ultimate healer and that he is a greater than any man-made rules, superstitions, and beliefs. The full of Bethesda is Aramic for house of mercy. In English, in English means of uh, Bethesda is house of mercy. Was a spring feed full of the temple 
near the water a great number of disabled people used to lay to lie the blind the lame and the paralyzed according to verse 3 of John 5 these people would wait expectantly at the pool because they believe an angel would come down into the pool and stir up the water then according to the super superstitious belief whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he had the man who was told to take up your bed and walk as one of those people who trusted that the water would provide healing what he really needed was Jesus on that on the day Jesus visited to the pool of Bethesda the invalid was there waiting for the angel to do his magical work the man did not know Jesus and thought the fool was what he needed to be healed he complained to Jesus that there was no one to help me into the pool when the water is steered while I am trying to get in someone else goes down ahead me ahead of me according to verse John uh, 5 7 Jesus swept aside all superstition and Paul's belief with one command rise take up your bed and walk perhaps dumating ang Panginoong Jesus doon hindi siya kilala noong uh, tao na ito nung may kapansanan hindi siya nakikilala at walang idea sa kanya ang alam lang niya ay sa panahon ng festival pwede siyang pumunta doon at pwede siyang gumaling dahil sa paniwala nila na may anghel na nag uh, na nag steered up doon sa tubig at iyon ang nagpapagaling doon sa may mga karamdaman kaya nag-uunahan sila na lumusong doon sa tubig para gumaling ang sino mang nandoon ngunit pagdating ng Panginoong Isus sinabihan niya yung tao na rise take up your bed and walk The man was instantly cured and he picked up his mat and walked according to verse 9. The man never get wet. It was not the water the man needed but the Lord Jesus. Hindi na niya kailangang pumunta doon sa tubig para mabasa at gumaling. Ngunit sa salita lang ng Panginoon na tumayo ka, bitbitin mo ang iyong hinihigaan na yan at maglakad ka. Sa mga salita lang na yon gumaling. Gumaling yung may kapansanan, yung lumpo. Praise God! Through this third sign of miracle in the Gospel of John, Jesus shows He is the ultimate healer. The Lord Jesus is the ultimate healer. At this point of uh, what happening or circumstance in the world, the COVID-19, the worries, everything, uncertainty lahat ng ito only the Lord Jesus can make us complete 
healing can make us complete uh, protection protected complete protected by the Lord Jesus At uh, yun nga po ay yung nakita natin dito sa ating passage. Um, yung pinapakita ng Panginoong Isus yung kanyang miraculous uh, action nung panahon na nandito siya, mga pinagaling niya. This is, shows us, us that He is the ultimate healer. Not just a physical maladies, but for our hearts for our hearts the, the lord jesus is a healer of our hearts if we have pains in our heart go to jesus after the healing jesus found the man in the temple and said to him see you see you have been made well and sin no more lest a worse thing come upon you according to John 5.14 pagkalipas ng pangyayari ay nagpangita muli sila sa templo at sinabi ng Panginoong Isu sa kanya nakita mo ang iyong, kag uh, ang iyong kagalingan uh, wag kang magkasalang muli. Ayan. Lest worse thing come upon you. Jesus, the Lord Jesus, revealed that man's physical healing was secondary to his need to be healed spiritually. Although the passage does not reveal the man's conversion, it does teach that Jesus sees not only our physical maladies but our heart as well. He is the only one who can provide the spiritual healing we need. While being physically ill for 38 years is difficult, an eternity in hell is even worse. Even worse. And Jesus, the Lord Jesus telling the man, take up your bed and walk. It is became an issue for the Jewish leaders because the healing took place on the Sabbath according to John 5.9. The fact that a paralytic was walking did not matter to them. They were furious. For this reason, the Jews persecuted Jesus and sought to kill him. Because he had done these things on the Sabbath, according to John 5.16. The Pharisees traditions forbade the carrying of one's mat or bed on the Sabbath. Of course, Jesus had not violated the, the Sabbath law. It was only the partial interpretation and addition to God's law that were being broken. The healing of the lame man exposed that the Pharisees hard hearts and revealed that Jesus is greater, greater than their man-made laws. Jesus commanded, Take up your bed and walk. And its immediate result reveal that he is greater than any superstition, folklore, or a man-made rule. Faith in anything other than Jesus is misplaced and lives as one thing. Yet, the Lord Jesus can forgive anyone who will turn to Him for salvation. That is the ultimate healing we all need. Amen.
as we can see, the Lord Jesus comes in our lives. Even we are, uh, kahit hindi natin siya ini-invite, kahit ini-invite natin siya, nandoon ang Diyos sa sitwasyon natin. Nakita natin sa story na ito, na nandoon yung, um, nandoon yung lame, nandoon yung uh, lame man, hindi niya tinatawag ang Panginoong Isus, pero alam ng Panginoong, Panginoong Isus ang pangangailangan niya. So, pinagaling niya yung uh, hindi makalakad. Ganito yung puso ng ating Diyos. Kahit hindi tayo uh, uh, lumalapit sa Kanya, ngunit, sumusunod tayo when the Lord Jesus said to this to the man get up and take your mat and walk sumunod yung lame so this is a faith this is a faith the faith healed amen amen And um, the Lord Jesus can forgive anyone who will turn to Him for salvation. That is the ultimate healing we all need. This is the message today. That the Lord Jesus open to every one of us. Kahit pa gaano kalaki yung nagawa nating kasalanan, ang Panginoong Isus dalawang kamay bukas na yayakapin tayo para magbalik loob sa Kanya, magrepent sa Kanya. And this is the ultimate healing that we all need. The salvation, the repentance, the forgiveness that come from the Lord Jesus. Lahat tayo makasalanan. Pagising, paglabas pa lang natin ang bahay natin, yung mata natin. There are a lot of temptation outside or even inside the house. So we need the Lord Jesus from time to time. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful revelation. That we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful story. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful miracle that you made to the lame man, Lord God. That your message is about uh, the forgiveness, Lord God, and ultimate healing for uh, every one of us, Lord God. That you know, Lord God, uh, our, our, our life, Lord. You know everything about us, Lord. We are sinner, Lord, and deserve for the punishment of death. But because of what you've done in the cross, we have opportunity to live in eternity. Lord, thank you for this wonderful uh, gift, Lord God, for us, Lord. Thank you for what you've done, Lord God. That your life, uh, that you gave your life for us, even we are not deserved, Lord. Thank you for everything. For you deserve glory, you deserve honor, you deserve highest praise, you deserve worship. In your name, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Ayan, isa na naman pong pagpapala ng Diyos ang ating... Uh, pinagsaluhan ngayong araw na ito. Marami pong salamat sa ating mga kapatid, sa ating mga nakakasama araw-araw. Hindi man po tayo personal na nagka, nagkita-kita. Ngunit, ito po yung kapangyarihan ng Diyos na nanasa atin ang ating mga Uh, puso ay nagdidiwang 
kapag nakakarinig tayo ng mga mabuting uh, salita ng Diyos, kapag nag-aral tayo ng kanyang mga salita, mayroong kakaibang nararamdaman ng ating mga puso. At ito po ang work of the Holy Spirit to us. Amen. Ayan, may galab shoutout sa inyong lahat. Ayun, no? Maraming salamat po sa inyo rin pag-share ng ating uh, Bible study. Alam niyo po, this is a great ministry na binigay sa atin ng Diyos. Hindi lang po para sa akin, ngunit sa bawat isa po na nag-share ng ating uh, Bible study. Because when you share the Word of God, you ministered. Ginagawa po natin ang tungkulin natin na ipangalap ang salita ng Diyos. At kahit na nga po, hindi yung video ko ang inyong i-share, basta uh, gawain o basta yung salita ng Diyos, sinishare nyo po, kayo po ay naglilingkod sa Diyos. Hindi po kung kanino mang tao. Sa Diyos po, ang tayo naglilingkod. Lahat po tayo ay lingkod ng Diyos. So lahat po tayo may duty na ipangalat ang salita ng Diyos. So kaya natutuwa ako doon uh, sa mga kapatid natin na uh, uh, nagsishare ng ating mga uh, salita ng Diyos. Ginagawa natin ito hindi para kanino man. Ginagawa natin ang Bible study para sa relasyon natin sa Diyos. Relasyon natin sa Panginoong Isus. Dahil the, dahil the only Lord Jesus is the way to eternity. Only the Lord Jesus. This life is only about the Lord Jesus. Nothing else. Amen. Amen. Ayan. Isang, uh, makita-kita po tayong muli sa bukas, sa ganito rin oras. Marami pong salamat. God bless you all. See you, see you, see you. Ayan, no? Ayan. Maraming salamat. God bless you all.